Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching. Today's video ought to be a good one because once again, we are back with the T-Rex Slayer, my Henry Lever Action 4570. So I just made a video on this gun last week when I had just gotten it and I made the claim in that video that this is probably the coolest 4570 that I've ever seen. And I stand by that. The more I shoot it, the more I fall in love with it and the cooler it becomes. And judging by the comments, it seems like it translated pretty well through the video because a lot of you guys are just as hyped on this gun as I am. So I thought we would get it back out today and actually shoot some stuff with it. So I'll go ahead and give you a quick close-up in case you missed the last video obviously just an extremely good looking gun and since you guys were so excited about the last video i thought we would get it back out today and actually test the 4570 a little bit we have some ballistics gel and a couple surprises and we're gonna see what this caliber is actually capable of let's do it all right let's take a few shots to get it warmed back up first we have the 405 grain remington core lock this is a reduced pressure load so we'll start out with these and then shoot some of the hotter stuff. I think I have three or four of these in here. Let's see how they feel. Oh yeah. Really nice for a 4570. A lot of people complain about the recoil of the 4570 because it's obviously a hot round, but those Remington core locks feel like a different caliber. I like them. All right, now for the fun part, we'll shoot some full powered ammo. So this is the 300 grain Federal Fusion. If I remember correctly, this is the lightest recoiling out of the full power loads, but obviously it's still a 4570. So let's see how she feels. <laughs> still pretty stout. And this is the 325 grain Hornady Lever Evolution. I think this one's even worse than the Federal Fusion. Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> Quite a bit worse, actually. Oh yeah. And the 300 grain Precision One. If I remember correctly, I think this is the hardest recoiling round that I have. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> so obviously there's much hotter ammo out there for sure, but it's not a big heavy gun. So every bit of that recoil goes right into your shoulder. It reminds me of like a 12 gauge shotgun, honestly, if I had to compare it to something. Definitely kicks a little bit. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should be because I post pictures of all this stuff over there before it gets up on the YouTube channel. But I recently posted a picture of my balls. I have two 13 pound balls, they're huge. And I've been kind of asking you guys what you want me to shoot them with ever since we got them. And I think the 4570 T-Rex Slayer is the perfect caliber. So here they are. Like I said, these are 13 pounds a piece. And I don't know what you thought I was talking about, but yeah, they're just bowling balls. So like I said, 13 pound bowling balls, they don't have finger holes in them. These are actually made to be set up personally and I think we're gonna shoot one today and save one for the 50 BMG I'm thinking that pink one is probably what we'll shoot today because it's the cooler looking one so let's see what the 4570 can do to a brand new bowling ball first let's take out a couple two liters <laughs> I, think I got one more left She's smoking. So the main thing everyone told me about shooting bowling balls is to stand back quite a ways because apparently they can throw stuff pretty far. So we're like 50 yards away. We're gonna start with the 300 grain Federal Fusion and We'll see how this one does. Wow. <laughs> All right, we got some pieces of the bowling ball right there. I'll go ahead and flip this over so we can see it. Wow, that actually did not go very deep. It just blew the whole front off of it. <laughs> And obviously through some shrapnel, but the actual penetration of that bullet into the bowling ball is not very much at all. All right, I flipped it around. We'll go ahead and try one more. This is the 325 grain Hornady Lever Evolution. This is quite a big step up from the Federal Fusion. So let's see if it does any more damage.
I hope you guys could hear that. It's raining bowling ball shrapnel all around me. Well, it definitely kicks quite a bit harder. Let's see if it did any more damage. Well, it's kind of hard for me to tell which one's which, so I guess there ain't that big of a difference. I think this one is our Hornady Lever Evolution because I don't remember seeing that brown stripe from the Federal, but you can see, I think, where it impacted. It looks like it kind of chewed it up there, and then the same thing on this side from the Federal Fusion, but really not too much difference and not a lot of penetration from either bullet so i might save this and put it with the other bowling ball for when we shoot the 50. that way we can shoot more than 150 because i have a feeling that gun is going to completely disintegrate this thing and keep in mind when you're trying to get through something hard like a bowling ball it's velocity that you really want and the 4570 is not some blazing fast round it's just really big and heavy and packs a lot of energy so i'm not really surprised by that result all right guys let's go ahead and wrap this video up with a good old scientific ballistics gel test so as always the ballistics gel we're using is the clear ballistics 10% gel blocks. We got pretty much a brand new one in the front and then an old crusty one behind it just in case anything passes all the way through our first gel block. And once again, I want to thank clearballistics.com for providing the ballistics gel today. So I believe they still have their fall giveaway going. So check their website. You might win some ballistics gel for yourself. And of course, I appreciate their support. But we've shot the 4570 at all kinds of weird, silly targets. Now let's actually test this thing and see what this rifle is capable of. So we're just going to start with the ammo that I have. We'll probably skip the reduced pressure Remington because it's obviously not going to be as cool as the others and I know there's a bunch of ammo out there that people want me to test in the 4570 so we'll get to it I just got the gun and for now this is what I got so we're going to start with the 300 grain Federal Fusion it says the muzzle velocity on this one is 1850 which it's pretty good let's see what it does I've never gel tested a 4570 so I don't know if it's going to knock the gel off the table or what I don't really know what to expect so let's see <laughs> I love this gun. <laughs> well, I really don't think I could have placed that any better, so I'll go ahead and pat myself on the back. But check this out. So it obviously went in right there towards the top left corner of that first gel block. This is the clear side of the gel. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that wound cavity from over here. Dude, look how big that wound cavity is. That is incredible. And then obviously it exited the first gel block and went into our second gel block. And you can actually see it pretty good from this side. That bullet expanded perfectly. It looks humongous. <laughs> Just a lot bigger than I thought it would be. That is impressive. And these are 16 inch ballistics gel blocks. So I would say that one probably got 19 inches of penetration. Definitely not lacking in the penetration department. And I'll wait till the end to take it out so we can compare all the bullets when we're done. Well, my slow-mo camera was only set to 60 frames per second for that first ballistic shell test, which isn't really slow motion. So I apologize for that. But next up we have the 325 grain Hornady Lever Evolution. So this one's heavier than the Federal Fusion and it's also going faster. The muzzle velocity on this is 2000 feet per second so heavier and faster which means it should be more impressive let's see oh yeah <laughs> way louder and way more recoil for sure Whew. So that one literally bruises the shoulder and I thought the first one was impressive until I saw this. So check out the wound cavity from that Hornady. I hope you guys can see it from the top because that's really where you can see the difference. The Hornady is obviously on your right and the Federal is on your left. It's literally twice the size of the Federal. And then over here, you can obviously just see how big and impressive that wound cavity is so about three inches in it shed that red polymer tip that it had on the end of the bullet and then you can see some bullet fragments throughout that wound cavity which is obviously pretty common for bullets that are going that fast and then it penetrated almost all the way through our second gel block and stopped right there and you can see that that bullet also just expanded perfectly and performed really well so although we have some bullet fragments back here it looks like 99 percent of it is still intact and holy crap look at the penetration on that thing so if these are 
16 inch gel blocks, I would say that probably got 26, 27 inches of penetration. And now I know why people use the 4570 for big game and predators because that is insane penetration holy crap and for a bullet that's that big and that heavy and expanded that well that's just super impressive so those are going to be pretty hard to beat but i saved the hardest kicking round that we have for last so this is the 300 grain precision one so it's the same bullet weight as the federal fusion and the velocity is 2050 feet per second so similar velocity to the hornady same bullet weight as the federal but i'm almost positive it kicks harder than both of them let's see what it does to the ballistics gel i'm gonna try to put this one a little bit lower ah <laughs> i thought we were gonna get the first one to knock it off the table almost So it didn't knock the ballistic shell off the table, but it definitely was the closest out of the three, which means it's packing a ton of energy. So I put that one right there towards the bottom, right where I was aiming. And then over here, you can see once again, I mean, the wound cavity on all these are extremely impressive, but the precision one and the Hornady are definitely the two biggest. And we got quite a few bullet fragments again from the precision one, definitely more in the first six inches than we did with either of the other two. And then it continued down the ballistic gel block, dipped down a little bit, and actually a big piece of that bullet is right there in between our first and second gel block. It looks like maybe just the lead. I'm not really sure. That's definitely a huge chunk of lead, but then we do have another piece in the second gel block so that might just be the copper jacket we'll find out here in a second but the precision one definitely got the least amount of penetration at 16 inches so let's take these bullets out and see how they did and here's our bullets they're in the order that we shot them in so we have the federal fusion the hornady lever evolution and the precision one the federal fusion is by far the biggest diameter out of the three that's actually the back of the bullet but it looks so cool that i thought i'd show you guys that side first then if you flip it over you can see how well that bullet actually expanded and the Hornady also expanded really well and stayed intact. The only one that broke apart is the Precision One, but they all three did really well. So no matter what ammo you're using, at least out of these three, they're all really effective and the 4570 is no joke. Wow. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for me today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm glad we actually got to test the 4570 and see what the T Rex Slayer is really capable of. And after seeing these results, I'm fully convinced that it probably could really kill a T Rex. It's obviously such a fun gun to shoot and just an absolute beast. I'll go ahead and give you guys another close up of this thing before I go, since I know. You all love this thing as much as I do. The most beautiful gun in the world, if you ask me, at least right now. I just can't get enough of this thing. But honestly, the gel test results were more impressive than I expected. I just didn't think they would penetrate like that and do that much damage in the ballistic shell. It's like the best of both worlds. You're getting a ton of energy, you know, in the beginning and then a ton of penetration on the back end as well. And we all know I like penetration. No, but I don't really have any experience with the 4570 until I got this one. So this is all kind of new to me and I'm having a blast experimenting with it. So let me know in the comments what else you would like to see with the T-Rex Slayer 4570. And of course, I'm just going to keep making videos on this thing until I get sick of it because right now I'm in love with it. So again, hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.